I'm just doing a quick video um, showing uh, my frustration with the Snapfish editing program. And I don't know how many people of you, you guys use Snapfish, but this is some of my photo order. It's not all of it, and I don't care what people know who I was, was pictures I was getting, but I'll just show a couple examples here of what was going on here. Here's a low resolution 4x6. I have a politician here, long deceased. I'm just ordering it so it can go with an autograph. Low resolution and 4x6. It, a Snapfish will not allow you to edit that period uh, for whatever reason, uh, except for moving from side to side here. Okay, and you can't shrink it, but you can, you can, you can make it sideways and upside down, or you can throw it in the trash like I've done there. And then this one here is another low resolution one. However, this one here gives you an option to uh, do a best fit as a 4x4. So, I mean, that's not a big deal too much there. Now, there are some like this one here that already fit perfectly and there's no editing that needs to be done whatsoever. But like this one here, I need to edit this because part of the, uh, the words are chopped off on the bottom. Now, this one here, oops, got a message there. Uh, this one here frustrated me to no end because if you look there's a border here and I couldn't get it to fit and all you can do is enlarge the picture but you cannot make it smaller. I tried to trick Snapfish into making another picture, adding it to my project and adding a white border even before I did this and, and changing the size and everything in other programs. It still did this identical thing. I could even try it in 3 by I mean 4x6 and 5x7 and 8x10 and then everything was the same. Well 8x10 was a little different but all the other sizes still lost part of the picture and I lost part of the border and who wants half of a picture? You can see the yellow line there. Here's another example of one I had to edit. It's a department of deaf and on this young lady here and I had to do a best fit and see now you got the whole logo in there. Oops. You got the whole thing in there. And it's just really a pain. There's another low resolution one I was not allowed to edit or anything. The other thing that Snapfish does not recognize is photographs in PNG format. So if you have anything in the PNG format, it will not do them and you have to find a, a computer editing program to change it to a JPEG or something else that will make it work. Anyway, these are the frustrations with Snapfish and I had 75% of my order done and these pictures were the ones that were not done and it just took forever and not to mention I might even have gotten double the pictures and maybe not even the coupon I wanted but those are the frustrations with Snapfish and it's much the same with the other photo orders I think it's the same program with a different overlay on the top so if you have any uh, suggestions or if you have any uh, horror stories on uh, trying to get your pictures edited or uh, one of these pictures actually uh, as a replacement. Uh, this one here, I had to find a completely different picture and actually fit perfectly so this picture was not printed. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, bye.